about Think Cities and, and for our, our website in Think Cities. I'd be really interested in your thoughts um, as a Cities Minister, I hope you all uh, think Cities Matter, but why do you think Cities Matter? The whole of the national economy depends on our cities. Uh, our cities are where most people live, work and where their jobs are. So for our country to prosper economically, our cities need to. So a lot rests on the cities. They're all different, uh, as we know, and so it's right that each city should think about what it needs to, to really power ahead and drive the national economy, which around the world you see happening uh, in most countries. Absolutely, and I think uh, one of the interesting things that, that you've done as Minister for Cities is try and get a bit more of a response to the fact that cities are quite so different. Yeah, I think over many decades, and probably a hundred years, power has been sucked away from these great cities that were previously more powerful than the, the capital uh, in the countries. And yet Whitehall and Westminster have taken powers away. But we need to reverse that. We need to give each city back more say, more resources, more a greater ability to determine its own future than we've been used to over the recent years. So how do you think cities can most effectively contribute to jobs and growth? What are the things that cities can do? I think they, for each city to think clearly about what their, the, fu the future of their economy depends on uh, is the foundation of that. And through the Growth Deals programme, we're asking each place to think what what do you need to succeed uh, in a even better way than you are at the moment? Uh, so that's the first thing, to kind of know yourself and to know what you want. Uh, and then secondly, a lot of the, the momentum and a lot of the energy comes from within the city. So make use of the powers you have, whether it's bringing businesses together with decision makers uh, in the, the local authorities. Making sure if your city, as many are, are divided up between different local authorities, whereas actually, like London, uh, where we're standing, uh, or like Manchester, where Greater Manchester has come together as a combination of local authorities. Make sure you all pull together uh, and can maximise uh, your weight. Then I think be clear and firm uh, with the authorities in, in the centre, with the national government, what you need to succeed. Yes. Uh, whether it's powers, whether it's particular priorities, make sure that you you shout with a loud voice uh, and assert yourselves. Mm. Uh, and I think finally, make sure that the, the cities that you, you're in and that you're part of uh, are succeeding not just economically, but actually the cultural uh, side, the environmental side of cities are important too. Uh, and if people want to, to locate and live in a city, they want it to be good in every respect, mm. not just narrow economic. So it's the livability of the city as well. Right. So I mean, my final question would be around where next on this agenda. You mentioned growth deals. We're clearly um, in the year before an election where all kinds of policies will be talked about, not just for economic recovery, but also for public services. And, and where next on that? Well, where do you think is, is next for cities policy? Well, we're negotiating growth deals with every area of England that has a local enterprise much. Uh, this has two billion pounds a year uh, of public money uh, attached to it, plus the ability to ask for powers that are needed to drive local economies. So that's a really big deal. And I see this as a, as a one-way ratchet. My experience is, and, and London proves this, once you give powers away to citizens, uh, you, you don't you lose the ability to take them back. Uh, previous governments will, at their peril, mm. try to abolish the mayoralty of London, to take back some of the, the powers and responsibility that the mayor has. And we know that the experience in London and in other places of devolving powers, giving powers back to people who, uh, who live and work and love their particular cities, uh, it transforms the economy uh, yes. and you get into a positive circle of reinforcement uh, and that's what we want to see in every city in the country. Fantastic. Thank you, Greg. I'm sure we'll be talking again. Great.